Hi and welcome back to Stuart Goods Photography. Today we've headed to Who Farm Animal Kingdom in Telford, Shropshire and we're going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to shoot animals at zoos. Hi, so I've picked a day during the week when it's nice and quiet. Um, I've grabbed myself a farm map and I've got times for all the events that are going on. So I'm going to use this map to find out exactly what I want to go and get pictures of. Okay, so I treat photographing any animal the same as I would any person. And I want this to be a beautiful little portrait. So I've come down to the eye level of the animal, which gives me a lot more natural shot. And I'm focusing in right on the eyes. Hi, and we've come across this black buck. Now, classic problem when you're taking photos of zoos is we have the bars. Now, luckily with this animal, I can get really close to these bars, but you're not always gonna have that much luck. The best way that we can focus in on that animal and lose the bars is to use a wide open aperture and focus in as close as we can. You can do this on your compact or on your phone by using the portrait feature which opens up the lens to soften the skin. It will do exactly the same with the bars. It opens up the lens and it will help focus past um, the bars. Right, I'm going to get in and see if I can get another shot. And that's superb. We've managed to lose all the bars in the shot and I've got a nice picture. Many zoos now give great opportunities to get pictures of the animals without too many bars. And we've come across the meerkats here and we've got a nice little viewing window down the bottom. And we've also got a fence that we can actually just poke the end of the camera through um, so we're not getting any bars at all in the shot. Now here I'm looking for some natural behaviour from the animals and meerkats are perfect for me. They're always standing up on the hind legs looking for um, danger. So this is going to be a great opportunity to get some brilliant little portraits of some cheeky little animals. One thing that's vital when um, taking photographs of animals is a decent zoom lens. Now, a lot of cameras you can get um, twin kit lenses uh, where you're going to get something like an 18 to 55 and maybe a 70 to 300. Now, for zoos, a 70 to 300 is absolutely perfect, and for most of your shots, you're going to be working along that 300 millimeter range. Now, we've come across these deer and a little kit lens like a um, 18 to 55 just isn't going to cut it um, with a decent lens we can get in nice and close and get some nice portrait shots right we've come across these european eagle owls now as you can see the enclosure isn't that natural in the terms of nice foliage behind and things like that. We've got um, really wood to the back. So what I'm going to do is try to overcome that because I'm going to open my aperture up as wide as it will go. Now on this lens I'm shooting at 230 millimeters. that's f6.7. So but what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop in really tight and I'm going to get a portrait of these um, owls really tightly in Ooh. and by doing that I'm throwing everything out of focus in the background my main focus is staying on the owls and luckily today because it's quite dark in the background I'm getting a completely back, black background which is really just bringing the animal into the shot and losing Ooh. any of the uh, distracting features in the background I'm going to get some more
So I've come across these bins wrong. Now it is really, really sunny and it is not always possible to move around the enclosure to get the best place to take the photograph. So I've got my lens hood on my lens, which is gonna stop some of that flare coming in and ruining my shots. With many animals running around very, very quickly, you're going to want to choose a fast shutter speed. Now you can do this either by dialing in a fast shutter speed, or you can use your um, shutter priority and dial in a, a high shutter speed, or you can choose something like a sports or action mode that's going to give you a nice fast shutter speed. Also a great idea is just to change your focusing over to a continuous focusing so it's going to track um, whatever it is you're trying to take a picture of. This should help you get a nice sharp picture of something moving very fast. <laughs> Any photography with animals is a waiting game and you've got to have plenty of patience. Uh, the animals that you may want may be sat around not doing anything and you could always try coming at feeding times when they're going to be a lot more active. Apart from that it's just patience, sit there and wait. Right, we've headed into the reptile house. Uh, it's got a completely different climate in here and it's very, very hot and your lenses may start to mist up. So it's a great idea just to leave it two or three minutes and give your uh, lenses quick wipe down before you take any photographs. Now to shoot through the glass here, the best way to do it is to come up as close as you can to the glass at, so you focus in through the glass onto your animal and get your shot through the glass that way. Now lots of people tend to put their hands all over the glass and you can probably see fingerprints all over the glass there. So it's always great if you've got a cloth just to give it a quick wipe down. A fantastic way of getting to get closer to the animals is to book an experience. Um, many zoos offer them at the moment and we're in one now with the ring-tailed lemurs. Some zoos also offer walkthroughs which offer a very similar experience but you need to stick to the paths. Things like this are great where you've got a keeper with you, we'll tell you all about the animals and get you into the best positions to get some great shots. Well worth doing. These guys you'll notice as they walk around have a really short tail as well. Uh, as great as it is to photograph animals, the interactions between animals and humans can be just as interesting and make some amazing shots. So make sure while you're at the zoo you get some great pictures of your family and your children um, stroking the animals and meeting them through the bars. Played out where people can trip on them is a definite no-go. Zoos tend to be busy, lots of people around and you're going to injure someone as well as maybe damaging your equipment. 
Uh, if you were to bring your tripod up and lock it into a higher position. Make sure that you stay with your tripod because it won't take much for a child to pull over your tripod and damage your camera. Zoos are a fantastic place to get close to animals. Now, the zoo has decided this is how close I can get to this ostrich, so this is as close as I'm going. Don't climb fences, don't get right up to bars when you're not allowed to. Definitely don't put your fingers in. Well, we've had a brilliant day here at Who Farm and we've managed to get some awesome shots. Now, I hope you can take away a little bit from this video to help you get some great shots yourself when you head out to the zoo over the summer. Now, make sure that you visit Who Farm's website. We'll leave a link in the description and we'd just like to say a massive thank you to Will from Who Farm for allowing us to film here today. Now, make sure you subscribe to our channel for future videos coming next week. So, that's all for now.